This is where the little palm smoothing plane comes into play. High blade angle, no chance of tear out on this cedar. Where I've got to blend the joints, the uh, tapered sliding dovetails from the side to the shelf. You can play in all different directions. You see the completed joint. Little palm smoother again. I'm now going to fit the uh, corners together. I've fixed the uh, front corners in place and I then match the side corners. So bring it up into position. Work out where you need to. Looks like some at the top. It's pretty hard to get it right straight off the drop saw. Uh, usually there's a bit of fiddling with large cornices like this. The palm smoother is an ideal tool. Take a little bit at a time, make sure the blade's nice and sharp. Probably that line, once I take it out, I'd say I'll be very close. Adjustment. I think we've really got it there. And that's it. You know, we have to work out how we're going to glue that into position. Getting to the good part of the job. There we're fitting everything, making sure there's skirtings match up. This is where I like the little palm smooth. You can just take a little bit off at a time. Laid off a fraction.
used to hollows and rounds just to clean up any little imperfections. As you can see there in the corner, it's looking pretty nice. Okay, there we have the completed bookcase. Little palm smoother. All I'm going to do now is go around and um, put a little arras on each edge so that they're not sharp. But the only time I used a bit of sandpaper was on the end grain at the top of the cabinet there. And a little bit, just there's a couple of little spots in this in the OG the crown moulding where I've got a bit of glue on the corner. But other than that, all these shelves are just hand plane, and now I'll just go along and systematically put a little arras. Obviously you could have done that prior to finishing it, but it's up to you. Make sure it feels nice to touch and no sharp edges. 